Hey everybody, Super Farmer Brothers, and this is me, Matt. We're gonna be talking about the code. This is me, Matt. We're gonna be talking about good God. You think you're gonna watch a whole video with just this dude? How boring. Are you already bored? Did you already click another channel? This is the Super Farmer Brothers. It's gonna have brothers. Just because I did a video by myself doesn't give you permission to do a video by yourself. Are we gonna do the video? We're gonna talk the whole time. Ah, sorry, you fucking asshole shit. Alright. Uh man, I don't even remember what we're doing now. You talking <laughs> What, are we, what, are we what we're about? doing, this is this is why I'm the older brother. What we're doing is, all right. I don't know about you guys. Maybe some of you are younger because you're on YouTube. You know, the older crowd. You guys don't know what the hell's going on. But when I was a kid, there would be rumors about video games, and we couldn't confirm it. We didn't have internet. We didn't have any good source for it. Back in our day, we got magazines. We read, all right? And it, dude, in the in the tip, the code would be like from Scott from Arizona. Just be some dude. It wouldn't be like the game would tell you or something. You couldn't hack into the game and find shit that the programmers didn't even want you to know. You know, it would just be like, I was just pressing some buttons. I was like, what? And then I kept, then I spent three weekends just pressing different button comments. So I found what did it that night. I'm like, and he has like, like notebooks full of paper of A-A-B-B-B. No. A-A-B-A. No. A-A-A-A-A. B. That's it. You know, and that's what they would do. And people would find out shit. And you couldn't say what was right, what was wrong, because you'd be like, that's stupid. There's no way that would happen. And then that was a real code. And then other shit was like, okay, let's just get into it. I'm just saying, like, some asshole could come into your school, and he would tell you this code that he swear. And you would spend so much time on the hardest difficulty all night trying to get it, and you would finally do all the shit, and it wouldn't work. After all those nights, I'm like, I did it 11 times, and I needed to do it one more time, and it, it didn't work, and now I didn't get the code. And then you finally do it, and it was all a bunch of bullshit, and the guy still won't own up to it. He'll be like, no, it worked for me. Or it'll, <laughs> or it'll be like, uh, yeah, I tried to get. Like, I never told you that. I remember our friend Justin. I'd be like, Justin, come over and do it. Yeah. Come over and do it. Yeah. And get him to come over. Huh. And he'd do, he would go out of his way. Because they're, dude, they that lied so much they believe it, or they're like into characters. Like, if you could just use that in like sales or something productive <laughs> instead of fucking lying to your friends to impress them. I'm the new kid in school. Let me lie about a bunch of shit. That'll really impress people. Oh, yeah, that won't catch up with you at all. Come on, if you're nine, you should at least be smart enough to know that. Anyway, let's talk okay, about okay, it. Okay, I'll do mine first because I got a short I'm list. sorry, I'm just pissed off about it. I'm just going back into childhood. Calm down. All right. Get out of here. Let it go. Talk. You talk. You talk. Go. You talk. All right. So, the first one I can remember. Another thing, no. <laughs> Street Fighter 2, Chun-Li's level. That rock in the background. I remember kids would tell me all the time that you could grab that rock. You could pick it up and throw it at somebody. Or you could kick it or something. I pressed every button combination near it. Every, nothing worked. I understand why you think you could. Look at the level and see that rock. But no, Why would there just be work. a rock there? Like, there's people on bikes. You think somebody would trip over it eventually, you know? Yeah. God. Dude, you know what's funny? Interactable objects with a rock. I'm playing Mortal Kombat X. What am I doing? I'm picking up like barrels and throwing hey, them and stuff. So you're only picking up barrels. You're picking up people. You're picking yeah. up the old lady. And yeah, exactly. So it eventually became part of a game. But what, it's 2015? We were playing that, what, back in like before 95? So like, what, 6, 17 years later, it became something in a game. It and started with like, what, the number um, one Injustice? Two Street Fighter. Yeah, it's Rival. So, yeah. and. You better believe Mortal Kombat's gonna come into this oh, yeah. eventually. All right, and uh, I know you're you're talking about Street Fighter Two. Let me tell you a popular Street Fighter Two. In Ryu's ending, he would talk about I must like oh, prepare yeah. for Shin Long, and we were we thought Shin Long was his master and he was unlockable, and there's all these rumors about it. And he was like, Oh, you beat it this hard. You got to do this against Bison. You got to do very hard mode and never lose a round or never get hit once and finish it this way. And finish at a certain time. And all these people were going out of their way to do this shit. Right. Believe me, there's some dedicated people. You look on the internet and watch those fucking speed runs they do for like money and stuff. Man, I didn't try that crap. Dude, and it turns out Shin Long wasn't a guy. I think it's like a term for like something else. I forgot what it was. I should have done my research probably. Uh, whatever. Who cares? But Akuma became like a master unlockable that did come out and hit Bison. So rumors kind of tie into and they become that real. That was like only on like what, in three that years? Was, it, that or? was a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on Street PlayStation. And it made me sad. I thought it was on some console that nobody bought. It was just a game nobody bought by then because people were tired of Street Fighter by the time it came out on PlayStation. You know? And so that's what made Street Fighter Alpha. Anyway, continue. Please. All right. Mortal Kombat 1 for the SNES. Right, remember, there was no blood on that game. There was blood on the Genesis. That's why a lot of people got it for the Genesis. You had to do a code to do it. 
On Genesis, even. You did? Yeah. Well, where it got around it, there was a code for the SNES, but there was not. Damn the, Janet Reno. Was she, she the cause of it? Yeah. She was one of them. She was one of them. Uh, what would come off? So like some, they call it sweat or something? Dude, it was like sweat. And then you like, <laughs> you like do Kano's Fatality where you pull a heart out. It's just like this gray thing. Like, what was that? Like a lawn? <laughs> <laughs> I got your spleen. Well, I mean, it's still pretty bad. That's, well, that's why actually, is it all the way up here, though? Dude, that's actually more disgusting. You, you, it's like, you pulled out my heart. I'd be like, oh, my heart. I'm going to die. You pulled out something gray. I'd be like, oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'd be like, dude, what? That was in me? Thanks. Like he, I think he pulled out like an alien hatchling out of my body. I'm like, thanks. It's like a tumor. He saved you from like lung cancer. But it, what's, what's funny that? is that actually made him more creative with some fatalities. Like that was the first time there was that Sub Zero frozen break you fatality, which became a common fatality for him. Uh -huh. um, you know, so it kind of like made some originality stuff. But yeah, that's true. You go, you keep talking. All right, and the last one I got is Super Smash Brothers Melee for the GameCube. In some magazine, there was some, if you beat this certain mode and so many of them in a certain period of time and didn't die, uh, these little guys coming on the screen that would be infinite, that you could unlock Sonic and Tails. It turned out to be bullshit. It was an April Fool's joke. Yeah, but hey, what did it lead to? They eventually did include Sonic. They put him in the game eventually. <clears throat> they used to tell me, like, if you did certain things, like, you know, Giga Bowser, like, you could unlock Giga Bowser, you couldn't. Well, with the Game Shark or something. You, the Game Shark, you could do anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you could make everybody naked for the Game Shark. But uh, uh, then Giga Bowser was kind of playable for, you know, Bowser Tristan and becomes, like, the worst Smash power. It just looks cool, but it, you're, like, swiping and people are dodging you. I'm like, whoa, it looks so cool, but you can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, dude, but that's what was cool, that's, that's like during the last kind of era where there was like stuff that would come out of the game that you didn't know, you'd be like, oh wow, like you didn't know about it, like yeah, now, the internet was just dude, starting to come, it internet, blown. you know about every hidden character before the game, because because they can hack into a game that's not even out yet, and no, dude, before Tanya and all these DLC characters came out from Mortal Kombat X, I, they already knew all the dialogue and endings for the game. They hacked into it and found all that stuff. They like when you know when you're making a video game, you said, "Oh, we're not going to do that." You will know about all this stuff because people hack in and find everything. So it's I don't know. That's pretty insane to me. But uh, and it's actually uh, going to tie. Everybody's in. a spoiler nowadays. It is. It really is because uh, this comedian I know he was kind of talking about how you know like uh, Punisher is going to make an appearance in the new Daredevil show. Yeah. That's really popular. But he said, that's cool, like, it gets publicity, but what about back in the day, you know, like, how cool it would have been if you are just watching the show and all of a sudden, like, you know, Daredevil is about to get attacked by somebody and somebody shoots him last second and they turn around and then it's Punisher. Like, oh, you know, you see it when it happens instead of knowing ahead of time. Right. Because now you got all these expectations, so it's not as cool. So, but it was cool, Ryu and Roy came out today, but if somebody hadn't leaked it yesterday and you were just playing and all of a sudden they were just characters in the game, like, oh my god, that'd be insane. But uh, anyway, that's my list. That's all yeah, that's his list. Now on to him. Can I talk for a second, please? No. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the stuff. Uh, you didn't play, bring up Goldeneye. You remember that one? Oh. That you could be well, the I, characters. Yeah, that wasn't a huge one to me, but still, like, if you look on the back of the back of the box art, you'll see there's like all the James Bond actors' uh, characters' faces on there. But due to licensing issues, they took that off. But you still feel like there's all this cool stuff to earn on that game. You're like, how can I earn this? How can I earn this? But it wasn't in there's the There's DK mode. You look around like a bunch of gorillas. and. All but if you get a Game around. Shark, you can unlock those faces. Because the code was in yeah. the game, they just took it off. And then there was that island really far off from the first level. But that was oh, like yeah. a thing they decided not to have. Like, oh, a boat and a Game Shark, you can get it. But, you know, I knew better. But uh, that was just some stuff. And it was so like a big when you're a kid and you just play games all the time, you're like, there's got to be something about it. Do this when you're a kid playing games all the time. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Naked Code. Because, dude, back then, that, that was like a good-looking, you know, female with like pixelated tits and stuff. I'm like, is, people can get internet as much as they do now. Now, back then, like, they still, I don't know, sometimes still, people still want to see, like, that nudity, like, naked cartoon stuff. It's just like, women aren't enough for me. Okay, well, let me turn you on. Draw a, a tit right here. Draw two circles and some nipples. Yeah, that's what I'm into. Like, I just drew that. You want to have sex? What's up? I just drew two-dimensional. Whatever. And this is pixelated stuff. Eric, Steve's making fun of you. 
that pixelated pussy, you know what I'm saying? Um, wait, this is for kids. We can't be cussing like that. We'll fix that in post. But they thought that. And then, like, in games like WWF Warzone, which we'll talk about later, uh, games like that, there would be, you could do naked codes and stuff. You know, yeah. he's always he's always the worst friend. Who was he? Stone Cold Naked. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the, oh, no, not Warzone, but Attitude, <laughs> attitude where you can make the women wrestle. Yeah, that'd be worse. <laughs> a bunch of dudes with no penises. are like, oh, I feel sorry for him. God, no wonder he's a Speedo. But, um, no wonder he's always pissed off. But, yeah, it's always the worst friend that comes and tries to show you that code. It's always the kind of friend that your girlfriend's like, you have the worst, why would you hang out with that guy? <laughs> it's like the guy that you're you embarrassed to admit. Yeah, it's your friend. You know, yeah, he'd be like, man, I'm not friends. Dude, I'm just... You don't talk to this guy. This guy. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that is the friend that shows you this code, all right? The friend who's got way too much porn to be sane that you're kind of worried about him. That's the friend that shows you this code. And when they show you, you get the naked skin characters... There's no nipples on them because it's just like they didn't have it. It just took all the texture, the clothes stuff off them. So then they're they're digging around for like a, a, a code for nipples. Is there a nipple code? Can anybody confirm nipple code? Looking around the internet, looking for nipple code, just like two dots to go on there. <laughs> Good God, that's what they're doing with their spare time. They could be reading book, like learning an instrument or foreign language. Yeah, like they're going to do that. But something, man. Good God. All right. Anyway, <laughs> um, I already talked about the Street Fighter thing. Um, Final Fantasy Seven. Shout out to Sam Birch. <laughs> this was the dude who introduced me to this stupid room. People tell me forever. And you think something this big I would have put some time into trying to figure out. But uh, it's spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't played Final Fantasy VII. If you haven't, I don't, I don't think you're going to do it because you can't go back and play those graphics. Those look pretty mutilated even when I was playing Did the game. Did they make a remake of it? No. They just, they're going to eventually. It's too, mu too much of a moneymaker. But... If you haven't played it, I can't see you going back and play it because that looks ugly even when I did play it. The cutscenes are cool, and you were so into it, you would deal with it. But to go back now, mm, you really want to do it. But whatever. I don't know how you missed that. I want to say it anyway. Okay, so Ares dies. And uh, there's supposed to be a way where she doesn't die. Now, why? It's such a big thing. I love that game. So why wouldn't I go back and try to do that? Do you realize how hard it was just to do some of the normal Like Final Fantasy games... They're unbelievable on the shit, like to find codes and stuff in that game. Like you got to go up to this rock and press XX and have this many elixirs and stuff like that for, you know, if you want to get like a chocobo that's pink. Like it's just like the most ridiculous. You want to get this summon spell? You have to have this sword and say this to this person and then come back three days later. Say chocobo. I'm trying to think of some <clears> guy <throat> that doesn't play video games. Think, watching you listening, you say that. Talking about <laughs> chocobo. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm into sports. Like, like I don't watch sports, but I, I damn sure know about to get a gold chocobo. The motherfucker mm -hmm. over here talking about chocobo. Get what? that chocobo. You are gonna get some good summon <laughs> spells. I'll tell you what. Right now, my granddaddy, he used to play Final Fantasy One. He got me hooked on. This it. This is no. why we didn't fit in in South Arkansas. Yeah, what, I don't fit in with. Either I don't, I don't care, whatever I'm just like I'm in between. So go ahead. The, they said you could do this. I was never gonna go out of my way to find. It. It's like if a strategy guy can even figure out how to do it, I'm not looking it up. I couldn't even beat Ruby or Emerald Weapon. That's even a bigger deal. If somebody could beat them than save Eris. So I'd rather know how to do that. But the time and effort you got to put into that. A little skinny nerds laughing oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> skinny. <laughs> or fat. Yeah. All right. They're skinny so, back in the day. I mentioned melee earlier. Okay. This is one you gotta remember. This somewhere over the flagpole, Super Mario oh, Brothers. Yeah. There was always like, what is beyond the flagpole? Because there's beautiful things if you think about it. What's beyond that flagpole? You go into that castle. You go to the pipe. What else is back there? Maybe if the game didn't make me go into the castle during all the cool fireworks and go down a pipe, maybe I could go and see what's beyond there. Like the game designers put all this magical stuff back there and won't let you go do it. But you know what? When you're a kid and in imagination, you want to go back there. You want to find out what's over there. You can never get over the flagpole, though. With the Game Shark, you could. And guess what's back there? Game Genie back then. You know what? Yeah, Game Genie. You're right. Good. That's why you're here. But guess what? <laughs> guess what was back there? It's my bad. When you ran back behind that castle, it was like an episode of Flintstones when they start running and you just keep seeing the same backgrounds pass you over and over. <laughs> it's that same goddamn bush and clouds over and over. You're just running. Don't you pass castles and castles and stuff? Ah, some of the later levels, but you know you're trying to do that in the first level, right? It's not that they don't try to impress you right there. Just the whole game's impressive right there. Later on, like, oh, how do we make different levels? Add more castles in the background. You know, the first level is that one castle. So you're going there looking for more stuff. 
like you're going to be able to do it. Like you're going to be able to go in that castle and there's all these people and worlds and stuff. That would actually be a cool game. But you just run back there. It's just the stupid bushes over and over. And you keep running until the time runs out. There's nothing you can do. It's just like you're drowning underwater. It's like you're going to die and there's nothing you can do. And that was back there. But everybody talks about how you could... I don't know if it was a bigger rumor. The fact that you could jump over it without a code or the fact that, you know... I don't know. It's not that far-fetched, though, because... The stuff you find out about the game, like I found that warp zone on my own and the vines that take you up to places and this crazy stuff going on, like a mushroom making you grow bigger. No, it doesn't sound far fish at all. Uh, yeah, because all the stuff you did find in the game, because what this level right after it, you jump past the pipe where you're supposed to go and you find like a warp zone and stuff. So maybe it's not really that crazy. It's not that far fetched, you know? Yeah. Um, and then there's like that infinite thing with the turtle, you keep getting infinite lives, the Koopa show. You jump on it and that, on that. That thing coming down, if you jump up just the right way, you keep the points, you get a bunch of lives. I could never do that. There's always the adults would come over and show off. Yeah. What could I can do? I'm like, all right. Okay, so we're getting down. We got three more to go. And these are ones, these are the typical ones you're going to find anywhere. Okay, I guarantee these three you don't hear anywhere else because I, we had the stupidest people growing up telling us this stuff. All right. <laughs> this one goes, there's another shout out to WWF. Uh, WWF Warzone. This guy told me that if I beat the game 15 times in a row with Kane on the uh, hardest mode, I would unlock, I think, Goldberg or something? You I'm, are the idiot for doing it. You're this. the one who told me. It was your, your friend or something. I was too old for that at the time. I didn't do it. I didn't attempt it. Oh, God, dude, I was pissed off. I was like, don't talk to me right now. I, I tried to do it. I got it 13 times in a row and I lost. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Other guys out there, like, meeting girls and stuff, women are like... Just playing like I swear to God if I don't get this game. <laughs> <laughs> and then why would they have Goldberg? He that was that was even not even legal with licensing degrees. And why would you keep hitting the most popular character wrestler in the world at the time? Hidden like somebody you would want to put on the cover yeah, art. It was like don't tell anybody. <laughs> like, why would they keep it secret? And make it so no so hard. God, like it wasn't even that hard to like get like reptile or any of those other characters in other games, but I believed it and I tried so hard. I was like, "You said Warzone, right?" Yeah, and then the code you they know. did have for that that I did find out that worked. Remember? Yes. The guy yes. would come out and help you. I couldn't believe it did work, and it was so stupid because anytime they help you, they just beat the shit out of the guy, and then you get disqualified and you lose. Why would you have that? It's like, hey, I gotta. It's like if you start losing. Well, I know how. To, I'm gonna make myself lose. <laughs> That's what you could do to piss off your friends. Like, if somebody's like, I'm better than you, they get this. But if you put in that code, and they don't know anything about, it, well, what the fuck was that? I don't know. It was so weird because the audience had no reaction to it. But then, it like, some guy ran in there, and then you could act like you didn't have anything to do with it. And then it'd be like, uh, it's like yeah, if somebody never knew about it. Yeah, because it'd be like, God, every time I'm this close to beating you, <laughs> Kid Shamrock comes out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's right the right whole time. Yeah, it's just like, uh, so that would be kind of cool. I don't know. That, I mean, it made sense because you do get disqualified when that stuff happens. But uh, and then I think somebody somebody told me in WWE, I mean WCW uh, Revenge that uh, you can you can get like uh, I don't know what wrestler. Or WCW versus NWO World Tour, you could get Bret Hart before he joined. And I was like, I'm not believing you anymore. It's always some stupid kid when you're in the bathroom. He's like next to like the the, the hand dryer. And he's like, Psst, hey, did you hear about ours? Where is that? I don't know. <laughs> it was your friend, I brought that on. Okay. My friend. All right, so Cruising USA. Oh. Like this was going to redeem the game at all. This is, I'm so stupid. It was like the Mortal Kombat. Like, whoa, gore. Like, I played the game in arcade, and I it was like, this game is awesome, because I ran over a cow, and blood went everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, I See, that was back when blood was not a normal thing in games. Yeah, okay? like, S South Park lived off of, like, Shock Factor. Like, it was later on, they had to actually yeah, write really five good seasons. stuff. Yeah, five seasons. was, like, Simpsons and Beavis and Buddy. If you go back and watch the early stuff, Mortal Kombat, it was all Shock Factor, and they survived because they built, like, content off of the Shock Factor and stayed a lot relevant, you know? I said it's been like, whoa, you know. But yeah. in the beginning, it kind of sucked, you know. Cruising USA never adapted. It stayed on the – and uh, it was so archaic. It was so stupid. But I was so dumb at the time. I'm in 10th grade, and I still fall for this. Girl. Oh, cool, gore. So I want to get the game. We get it. You can't run over, like, cows or deer or anything like that. You can eat bugs or hit your windshield. Yeah. And then, dude, I'm thinking, like, somebody tells me there's a code if you beat it this hard. So I'm doing it again. Stupid Steve. Is doing this all over again. I'm all pissed off. Don't talk to me. I'm trying to earn 
cows you can run over. Steve, can I play? I want to run. No! no! <laughs> it's a multiplayer game. It's meant to be played too much. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like driving this like school bus in the game. But back when you could do that before like all these like school shootings. Uh, and then like I, I can't I can't earn it. Like that was gonna make the game any better. It sucked. It sucked. Like running over. Okay, now it's good. Now that I'm running over animals, and I'm like pretty much a vegan right now. Why do I want to do that? I don't even pick any of the evil choices in video games, so why would I want to do some evil? I don't know. Okay, are you ready for number one? I, I'm you gonna ready? be, I'm gonna be really surprised if anybody heard about this. All right, this somebody told me this in fourth grade, that brief time we lived in San Diego in the apartment complexes. Somebody told me in Mike Tyson's Punch Out, there was a code to where when you're fighting Mike Tyson. You know those people in the audience? Yeah. There's a code for somebody in the audience to assassinate Mike Tyson and shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, you're over there, like, surviving punches, and if you press the right thing, <laughs> it just falls over. And Mario goes, <laughs> like, Why would that be true? And I halfway believed it. I was like, really? You know? But what's funny, like, is that that's not funny enough, um... 20 years after the game is made, nobody even discovered this. I found this out the other day. That there is actually an audience member during the Mike Tyson punch out that does something specific to let you know. Oh, no, no, no. It's not Mike Tyson. It's a bald bull. Um, but when you see a flash of a camera and the bald bull thing, that's right when you press punch and then you hit him in the stomach right, right then. So nobody even knew that for like 20 years. So that's pretty crazy. Hmm. But, oh. <laughs> but, uh, I really, would, I really hope that that Mike Tyson assassination thing is real in the game. There's <laughs> some pixelated two thing. Like, don't get Kong Jr. in the audience. You think it's him that gets up and shoots him? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Like that big mouth just opens up like King Hippo. Just shoots him. All right, so if anybody else has heard of that one, let me know. If anybody's heard anything crazier than the ones we've heard. Well, because I'm sure. We hit a couple of the mainstream ones, but there were some, you know, the urban myths that are local to where you're from. Just whatever stupid friend or idiot you got in your neighborhood that lie to you. Like, if you've heard of one even crazier, let us know, please. I want to hear about it. Anything else you want to say? Uh, nope. I don't want to talk, <laughs> talk to these people anymore. All right. Dude, this is a long video, but I, th I think it's interesting content, so I hope you guys like it. Anyway, Super Farmer Brothers out. <laughs>